hauled quite a bit of corn out. Obviously, no video of that. Pretty boring stuff. Back and forth all day to town. We got our corn hauled, so we got some room whenever we dive back into corn. But as you can see, we are uh, cutting beans today. And got some yesterday and might have started the evening before that. But we got a pretty good slug knocked out here already mid-afternoon and beans are really really starting to cut good I'm driving about five mile an hour 35 foot platform and what I would call very good beans but uh, yeah pretty much we're gonna stay on the bean campaign until it either rains us out or we can't go no farther for some unforeseen reason and then we'll switch back to corn. But like I said, it's on the other side of town and we don't want to go down there right now whenever we get all these beans cut. But so far, everything's been running pretty smoothly. Um, got two brand new 35 foot platforms this year. We uh, had to do some work to them when we got them, even though they's new, but they're set up and running great. Can't beat it brand new head everything's sharp and straight works right but past that we're gonna keep mowing these beans off we've got this patch here to do and then we've got 30 acres through the dust and yeah, there they are and then 20 and 10 behind us over here but we've got some different varieties we're cutting out here and see how they're doing so far all the beans we've cut have been doing exceptionally well especially compared to the corn our corn yields have been I would say around average on our farm now we've heard some really good yields people said some really good corn but I would call our corn average it's, it's not nothing that's blew us out of the water but it also wasn't bad by any means neither but our beans have been doing really good so far so Hopefully we can keep up the pace on the bean yields and come out ahead somewhere. Oh, and if you're hearing some sort of weird noises, it could be this little one. She's been a little bit down and out, sick the past few days. Mama had to work today, so she's been co-piloting in the combine and sleeping been about it been having fun yeah we're gonna be shy and not talk well welcome back to another field second day well it's not the second day but it's the day after the previous videos in this video we are cutting on a 20 acre patch here it's the last beans that we have in this general vicinity we're gonna move north we got some beans that was the ground was pretty wet it's starting to dry up we're hopefully gonna get them out before it rains possibly Sunday night into Monday hopefully it don't rain much and ground conditions ain't an issue but any rain at all and you know you can't cut beans because they draw moisture dry back down during the day unlike corn but uh these beans got a few green leaves on them but they're dry they're running 12 percent which is actually over dry but that's fine they'll keep in the bin we're gonna knock this little patch out and make the move header trailers are over there through the woods but everything's going smoothly. Last night we ran after dark for a while, finished up, we had 20 acres over that direction through the woods and we got them knocked out so we could move first thing this morning. Luckily the sun was shining and the wind was blowing so we started cutting around 9.30 to 10. Yesterday it was almost noon or 12.30 before we could start cutting. So we ought to build a 
cut a pretty big swath today, hopefully. Well, we've stopped at the fuel depot on our way by. These things like to drink some diesel fuel. We've got all these beans cut around the house. All the way down past that direction. So, we're gonna fuel up and head back down the road. We're waiting on our header wagons anyhow. Well, the darkness is upon us. We've got just a little wedge here left to cut. We're gonna take the two semis in, it's parked in front of us. Call it an evening. We've got uh, quite a bit done today actually for moving from one side of the world to the other kind of, well, not kind of, but pretty good move, twice. But we got like 100 acres of beans to cut right over here tomorrow and then hopefully we can cut that 80 some acres down in the bottoms before it starts raining so that it ain't super muddy because platforms and mud don't mix but I guess we'll uh, see what tomorrow brings it's going to be pretty well lit for today well boys and girls another evening's came beautiful sunset and I took Zero videos today. Really anticipated getting some of those lovely action shots, but I haven't. This video is going to get long and boring, but it already is because of just a bunch of talking sitting here. But we have cut around a hundred and some acres today and made one move <clears throat> down into the bottoms. These are the beans that. Some of them flooded out over there in that 40, and the water backed in on them earlier this spring. But this 80 survived and is doing pretty well, really, for as wet as it was. We are trying to beat the rain. Hopefully, it does not rain tomorrow. We're starting to call for a little more rain a little sooner than we anticipated. But this field gets really wet really fast it goes to rain and, and it's already plenty damp down here so hopefully tomorrow brings good weather and we can get this knocked out and get these machines back to the barn before the big rain comes Sunday but past that I'm gonna sign off as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one